do you want this? Make sure that you follow this video until the end and do every single step I do. Now, first, let's clean up our desktop. If your desktop looks like this, you guys can right click on it, then click on view and make sure that the uncheck option show desktop icons. This will pretty much hide every single icon you have on your desktop and you can pretty much find every single application or folder and file inside this folder inside the file explorer. Now let's move on to the taskbar customization. Open your Microsoft Store and search for Translucent TB. Now here click on the first application and click on get. Now once you have Translucent TB installed click on open. This should open welcome screen to translucent tb click on continue here and then navigate here to the system tray right click on the translucent tb icon and here on top make sure that you have this desktop option selected to clear after that make sure that you also have open add boot option enabled then you can move on to your web browser and search for the rain meter now on this website you can click on download button and you should get the .exe file for the rain meter installer now once you have it you can click on it click on ok here click on next and then install click on yes on the admin prompt and then click on finish. Now Rainmeter has some of the pre-installed widgets. You can remove them by right clicking and then select unload skin. Then you can go back to Google and search for MII power. Go to the first link and scroll down and select download right here. Then go back to the search bar and search for jack score. Go to the GitHub page and once here go to the releases here. Click on .rm skin file and click on save. Now once you've done that you can go pretty much here to your recent download history and first of all click on miipower.rm skin click on install after you've done that and if nothing happens you guys can navigate here to the system tray double left click on the rain meter icon and then go to the mii power folder here click on power and select b for black version or w for white version position it somewhere here on your screen just like so and then you can navigate here to the file explorer go to downloads folder and here click on jack score click on install after that click on library here and install two of the skins first one is modular clocks and modular players is the next one first i'll go with the modular players installation is the same for both of them just click on this green arrow and install them after you have both of the skins installed click on modular players first and here on the left toggle this option on to activate it then click on general and here i will go with this style now once you've done that you can go here to the style options select here rounding to the standard and also I will disable window stroke. Now for the general options I will go with widget scale of 0.75. Now once you've done that you can just pretty much put it next to the MII power and now we can move on to the live wallpaper. Just go to the Microsoft store and search for the lively wallpaper app. Click on the first app you see and click on get. By the way if you want to check out this wallpaper you can check it out by clicking the first link in the video description. Once we have lively wallpaper installed click on open here and now we can just just close Microsoft Store. Then here click on add wallpaper and for the URL I found this exact wallpaper which you can copy from YouTube itself. Just right click on it and click on copy and I will also leave this link in the video description below by the way. Now navigate to the lively wallpaper app and paste this link right here and click on the arrow. You can click on OK here and now this is how our wallpaper looks like. You can also navigate here to the system settings just like so. Go to the personalization and under the copy Colors, select your mode to the dark so you can easily see your system tray icons here. And now the last thing to do is to open Rainmeter from the system tray just like so. Click on Jack's core and go here to the main. Click on the settings and here go to the house or home. Click on library here. Go to the modular clocks. Enable modular clocks widget. Go under the general here and down below I will select this type of clock. Here I'll go under the style options. I'll change this clock to 0.75 of scale so under the color render arc color make sure that you put this values right here click on enter and this is how it looks like at the moment now the last thing to do is to move this clock somewhere here in the nice position and this is pretty much it for this customization thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure that you smash up the like button subscribe to the channel as well and i will see you all around in the next one